Hello and welcome to another edition of The Well-Tempered Hacker. I'm your fearless host, Anders. Uh, last time we took a look at a virtualized system uh, with nine drives in it. So we had, we had eight of them that were raided together and, and cut up into little slices, and each of the Zen instances used one of those slices. Uh, but then there was that ninth disk in there, and it was really just there for the sole purpose of booting the machine. We're going to take a look at a, another system now. This, this one only has two drives in it, two little uh, one terabyte SATA drives. So we don't have that option for that third drive. It's a 1U machine. It's, it's very small. So uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going we're gonna to look at a different way to, to boot it. Um, we would have been able to do this, uh, the, the old system with eight drives in it and get rid of that ninth drive, if uh, the new rewrite of Grub were ready. Uh, because it actually has the ability to preload modules, it's sort of modular, and you can you can bring in modules that have to do with accessing the uh, the SATA device that the machine is on, that all those drives are on, and, and understanding what RAID is and understanding what uh, LVM is and, and dealing with them. Well, in this case, we're going to take a look at uh, a machine that has just two SATA drives in it, and we're going to uh, RAID those two drives together, just basically mirror them. Uh, but I'm going to make two devices. We're going to have uh, one small little 512 meg slice in the beginning that's going to be used for booting, so that's sort of our, our fake hard drive, and then the other slice is going to be the entire file system. So let's take a look at it. So we're SSH'd into this uh, Gen 2 machine here, and uh, you can see we have a little live CD prompt. Uh, so what I did is I looked at the disk. We have SDA and SDB. Uh, so on A here, uh, right here, I didn't have anything, so I, uh, I decided to uh, add a new uh, uh, partition. Uh, we're going to call it a primary partition. We'll call it 1, and we'll start it at 1, and then we'll make it plus 512 megs. So, so 512 megs is the first partition. Then we'll make a second one here, another primary partition. Uh, we'll start it where we, where we left off at 67, and then just go out to the end of the disk. Uh, so uh, what we have here now, and then, then I uh, set the T, the partition type, to FD, which is Linux RAID Auto Detect. And I did that for, for the other one as well, Linux RAID Auto Detect. So now when we print the uh, listing of what we have here, we have two devices, uh, uh, well, really two partitions. We have uh, Dev SDA one uh, which is bootable. I did that up here. I did mention that. Uh, and it starts and, and ends there. It happens to be about uh, 512 megs big. Uh, it's marked as a Linux RAID Auto Detect. And then here's the rest of the disk in, in 2 here. And you can see it's, it's pretty big. Nine, you know, probably uh, 950 or so uh, megs. Uh, or gigs, rather. Uh, so uh, now we, we f-disk the other disk, uh, and as you can see, I printed, I already have it set up, it's, it's set up exactly the same. Um, so now, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to create two raids. So we're going to mdadm create md0 uh, level 1, so this is going to be a mirror. Uh, there'll be two raid devices in there, sda1 and sdb1. And you can see I, I had something else on there, so I had to they, they give you a warning message, and I say I hit continue, and then it creates it starts creating uh, MD0. Uh, I do the same thing for MD1, but this time saying the two devices are SDA2 and SDB2, uh, the second partition on each of those disks. Uh, so then MD1 gets started, and then I. I cat proc MD stat. I look at the proc file system and, and look at the MD stat, and it'll it tells me that there's uh, there's a RAID uh, one here consisting of SDB two and SDA two. Uh, both drives are up, and it's resyncing, and it's got 400.6 minutes to go, so it's got some time. The other one resyncs so fast we didn't you know it, it, it's already done. It's only only 512 megs, so it's pretty small. Um, and we don't have any unused devices. So then, now, on top of this RAID, we're going to create an LVM, a uh, uh, logical volume manager. We're going to slice up this, uh, this disk, but I only really need to do that on MD1. 
MD0 is fine, we're going to leave it as is. So I create this uh, uh, physical volume, I call MD1 a physical volume. Uh, it actually isn't, but that doesn't really matter, it's a sort of a um, convention of LVM. So let's print out the display, we see a PV display, and we see that uh, MD1 is a new physical volume with uh, 927 gigs, I guess. Uh, there's a device, there's a name, there's a UUID for it. And then we're going to create volume group 0, VG0, here out of MD1, this, this physical volume. And then we display that, VG display, so you can see that we have VG0, it's resizable, we have, uh, here's uh, 927 gigs of space that's available, and we have a UUID for it. It's always a UUID for everything. Uh, next we're going to LV create, we're going to create a logical volume here, uh, 225 gigs, um, and we're going to name it LV0, and it'll be part of the uh, volume group, group 0. So we do that, and we do another one as well called LV1, same size, on, on VG0, and LV2. And then the last one, we're just going to say 100% free. Just take the rest of the disk and use it as LV3 and VG0. So now when we do an LV display, so we're going to look at all these logical volumes built on top of all the, the, the one physical volume there. We have uh, LV1. Uh, sorry, LV0 rather, LV1, and each of these are 225, and LV2, and then here's LV3, and it's it's got, uh, you know, it's just got the rest of the disk, so uh, right now it's uh, pretty close to what the others were. This is trying to be close, but not exact to an even split. So then what I do is I uh, make an EXT3 file system on MD0. Grub understands uh, EXT you know, two and three is basically with journaling. Uh, and I uh, uh, put the file system on, on MD0. So now on MD1, we've got, you know, these four pieces. So what I'm going to do is uh, make uh, an EXT4 file system on this, because that's what I like to use these days. And uh, you can see it creates it, and here we go with LV1, it creates it, and LV2 creates it, and LV3 creates it. So now here we are at the prompt, and we can uh, type cat proc uh, md stat and see where we are with this resync. We, we've still got a long ways to go, um, but uh, we can create file systems and start pushing data right over this while the resync happens. It's, uh, uh, it'll be fine. It just won't be guaranteed if one of my disks die. I won't, I won't, I'll lose my file system if one of them dies. Once this thing is complete, of course, I have the guarantee if I can pull one of the disks and, and everything should remain up and operational. Uh, so that's the, that's the main uh, difference. Now we're going to jump forward in time and take a look at the system uh, after I, I get all the uh, builds of the file systems done, because that just takes a long time. Uh, we'll take a look.